Years ago, five teenagers went to school at the Stewart and Slough House. They also died one by one. Except one girl, whose name was Emily, but she changed her name him for safety reasons. She remembers a man with hang a face. A stitched face. In 2013, we burned the soil house down. We found a lot of dead bodies except the man with a face mask. You know what found? How many caught the bag? Hides in the house. We found a lot of 19. We told her that she doesn't need to worry. She doesn't listen. She still hides in the house, silent, dead eyed, traumatized. Great robbing in Texas. Scared. This hour's top news story. Woman led officers of the Fairfield County Sheriff's Department to a cemetery just outside the small rural Texas community of Newton early this morning. Officers there discovered what appeared to be a grisly work of art the remains of a badly decomposed body wired to a large monument. A second body was found in a ditch near the perimeter of the cemetery. Subsequent investigation has revealed at least a dozen empty crypts, and it's feared more will turn up as the probe continues. Deputies report that in some instances, only parts of a corpse had been removed. The head, or in some cases, the extremities removed, the remainder of the corpse left intact. Evidence indicates the robberies have occurred over a period of time. Sheriff Jesus Maldonado refused to give details in the ghoulish case, and said only that he did have strong evidence linking the crime to elements outside the state. Area residents have reportedly converged on the cemetery, fearing the remains of relatives have been removed. No suspects are in custody as the investigation at the scene continues. just outside the small rural Texas community of Newt early this morning. Officers there discovered what appeared to be a grisly work of art, the remains of a badly decomposed body wired to a large monument. A second body was found in a ditch near the perimeter of the cemetery. Subsequent investigation has revealed at least a dozen empty crypts, and it's feared more will turn up as the probe continues. Deputies report that in some instances, only parts of a corpse had been removed. The head, or in some cases, the extremities removed, the remainder of the corpse left intact. Evidence indicates the robberies have occurred over a period of time. Sheriff Jesus Maldonado refused to give details in the ghoulish case and said only that he did have strong evidence linking the crime to elements outside the state. Area residents have reportedly converged on the cemetery, fearing the remains of relatives have been removed. No suspects are in custody as the investigation at the scene continues.
handed down as special grand jury investigation. Grave robbing in Texas is this hour's top news story. An informant led off. Yeah. 